Cancer Awareness Month, and we asked our fans to write in and share stories about how the disease has affected people in their lives. We received one truly amazing letter from Rochelle about her cousin, Tiana, who spent the last year battling cancer and won. Yes! Ladies, yes. welcome. We're here with Rochelle Conley and her cousin, Tiana Hines. Thank you, ladies, for joining us. Thank you. Welcome. Tiana, you were diagnosed with cancer last October. Yes. What was the first thing that was running through your mind? Um, my initial thing, I'm a, I'm a praying person. I immediately went into prayer. That's mm -hmm. right. I immediately went into prayer. Um, everything just came at me so fast. They put me in this little small room and gave me this book, a whole bunch of materials, a lot of paperwork, and here's what's going to happen, da, 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 the doctor, doctor, and then do you have any yeah. questions? And I'm like, yeah, where's the wine list? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. She's got jokes. But, yes. <laughs> no, I, I laughed a lot through all of this. Yeah, you, have, really you have to. Really. I laughed a lot. But um, I, in the beginning, all I did was pray. I did. I began to pray. Now, Rochelle, I have to ask you, what was it like watching your cousin go through this? I did not want to believe it. I actually put it out of my mind, and I didn't realize it until once she lost all her hair, and that's when I knew it was real. Tiana, what was your treatment like, if you can take us through it a bit? So uh, initially, I had to do uh, six rounds of chemo. By the fourth round, I had um, on my MRI, there was, they couldn't see the, the tumor. And then in February 2016 of this year, I had a double mastectomy and a BSO, which is removal of both fallopian and ovaries. Mm -hmm. And um, the pathology results from that revealed that there was no evidence of cancer. Praise God. Yeah. What I wanted, were you able to keep working while you were having the treatments? No, no. Um, I stopped working in um, November of last year. Like, I, I tried, I tried <laughs> in the beginning. I worked the whole month of October. I was diagnosed October 1st. Uh -huh. I couldn't work, and uh, I tried to go back to work in June, and then I had a, um, a setback. I had an infection in my expander, and I had that um, removed, and so there's no way I can work. And because I have the BRCA gene, I have the breast cancer gene, I must um, continue treatments. And then I have um, reconstruction surgery in December. Wow. And then another two surgeries in 2017. You right. are the most positive yeah. person. You are. I have ever spoken to. Now, your cousin Rochelle thinks that you are awesome, but she is not the only one that thinks you're awesome. We heard from some other people that had something to say about how courageous you've been. Take a look. Take a look. I am so grateful to be your mom. We're supposed to be encouraging you, and you encourage us every day. Keep going, baby. We love you. I love you so much. You are my hero, my role model, and I don't know what I would do without you. Team Tiana, we love you. I'm so grateful to be a part of your life. I love you, Auntie Tiana. Tiana, you made me so proud. I hope that God continues to bless you. I'm proud of you, Tiana. Keep up the good work. I love you, baby. You are a living testimony and a great representation. Love you, Tiana. Keep up the good work. You're my first granddaughter. And I've always been proud of you. Team Tiana, this is for you. We're thankful to still have you. I am so oh proud of you. You are truly my hero. Love you. like to know you have all those amazing people supporting you? Sorry. Um, it's okay. God, God is so good. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Seriously, like, <laughs> like, all those people are just been the praying people in my life. They make me want to fight more. They make me happy. They help me laugh and mm -hmm. pray and laugh some more. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm so, so grateful. Wow. Wow. Tiana, we think you've been so awesome, so brave and selfless throughout all of this. And yes. um, while facing such a scary disease, you obviously keep such a positive attitude. And we know that supporting your family means so much to you, but that it has to be a heavy weight to carry. And we just want to lighten that for you. So we are giving you $10,000. Will it help you? <laughs> I mean, with just my treatments, even just 
providing for my husband and daughter. My husband is actually on a disability too. He had a stroke. Oh. So um, it's just gonna help big time. It's so oh, much. Wow. It's gonna help so much. Well, we love you, Tiana. <laughs> Team Tiana. <laughs> Team Tiana. Yeah. Team Tiana. Team Tiana. Team Tiana. This was our final fan cash to give away, but we still want to hear from you. Tell us all about the deserving people in your life. Head to thereal.com and submit your story.